Well, a friend of mine, I'm, I'm staying at her house, and she goes, "It's I, I went last year. She's out of town. She goes, you're playing at that little club I went to over there. I said, yeah. She goes, it's, they love you over there. It's, it's almost like an unhealthy kind of love over there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Kevin Clark, and I'm um, the band leader currently of the Dukes of Dixieland Jazz Band in New Orleans. And, uh, when we're not on, our, on the road, we make our home base on the riverboat Natchez. Uh, what's the difference between New Orleans Jazz Club and KW Jazz Club? The audience is uh, equally excited about hearing New Orleans jazz. Start <laughs> we'll do that one again, see if we can get it right. They're a lot more inebriated in New Orleans than here. We can work on that. <laughs> Well, my name is Wayne Pauli, and uh, my wife Nancy and I have been running the KW Dixam Jazz Club since the year 2000. Well, uh, the club actually started in 1978 at the Lank, and it was started by a musician named Len Gosling, and we call him Boots because he was in the shoe industry. And three years ago, uh, we decided to move over here to the Waterloo Legion on Regina Street. And it's Dixieland from the 20s and 30s. It's Louis Armstrong stuff. Uh, um, some of the, the old musicians uh, that uh, our generation has been familiar with their entire life. The majority of the musicians that play here at the jazz club are steeped in this music, and they love it. And, and they could perform in New Orleans. I want that to be very clear. It's not like a second-rate deal up here. A lot of people here appreciate that, but there might be some folks that don't realize that. I hope we can just keep going on a steady basis like we are. If you look at the crowd this afternoon, 99.9% .9 of the fans out there will have a smile on their face most of the afternoon. There's not that many places like uh, KW, uh, Dixieland Jazz Club, in the world. It's a tonic to, to the people of our generation. We have had people say they don't know what they would do without Saturday Afternoon Jazz. It's the highlight of some of these people's week. 